I'm Dr. Joey Fawcett, coaching you to work positive. This week, we're talking about how you can shoot for the moon with your 2018 goals. NASA started by setting goals when they took on the challenge of putting a person on the moon. They started with then, the date they wanted to land on the moon, which happened to be July 20th, 1969, when the Earth and the moon were the closest, rather than starting with now and working forwards. They planned backwards from that date. That is, where do we need to be on July 19, July 18, and so on. They set their goals backwards, knowing when they wanted Neil Armstrong stepping on the moon and what it would take each week to get him there. So how can you use NASA's planning process to set 2018 goals for your work? Here are three ways you can shoot for the moon at work in 2018. First, shoot for the moon with total focus. How do you react when someone mentions something like a dancing bear wearing a red vest with a black top hat and tells you not to think about it? What's the first thing that flashes in your mind? Your mind focuses your thoughts very quickly and with just a little suggestion. So why is it such a challenge for you to focus your thoughts about your work on your 2018 goals? Because your mind focuses your thoughts very quickly with just a little suggestion. That is, your mind hones in on whatever attention grabber presents itself unless you coach it to filter out some thoughts and to focus on others. You see, your mind is like a muscle. You exercise it to do what you want it to do. NASA had one goal, put a person on the moon. So what's your one big shoot for the moon goal for 2018? Secondly, time frame. Do you set work goals forward like I want to increase sales by 12% without knowing by when and try to sell 12% more, realize you can't do it all at once and just give up? Set a realistic goal like selling 12% more in 2018 and a target date like December 30th. Then target date intermediate goals like 6% by June 30th and so forth. This coupling of a time frame with your shoot for the moon goal allows you to measure your progress along the way, which makes course correction much, much easier. So when will you accomplish your shoot for the moon goal in 2018? The third thing you want to do is task follow through. Everybody's business is nobody's business, which means nobody does business, right? Couple your big goal with a time frame, then examine what successful tasks contribute to its accomplishment. Each task has a responsible person, that is, who will get this done in that time frame. NASA had various engineers charged with a plethora of tasks. Each contributed to the shoot for the moon goal on a specified time frame. So who does what in your business to accomplish your shoot for the moon goal and by when in 2018? That's how you shoot for the moon with your work goals in 2018 and follow NASA's lead in getting the job done. Go ahead and make one small step for you, one giant leap for your work in 2018 as you work positive and increase your sales with greater team productivity so you get out of the office earlier. 